say you have to plan a trip with a start date with three cities to visit and two days commute between cities. You have a starting point, a date from which your holidays start, and you want to know the end date. You want to know how long it's going to take you overall, and you want to know when you'll be back home. So you can either take out the, the old calendar, or you can use MS Project. Just to give you a very simple example, I'm going to use MS Project. So it's just uh, do start of holidays, and that's something uh, manual that we will have to input. We just... Uh, input a date here like for instance here i'm going to input a date in the future um, the first of april 2024 and then you put the first commute commute one and after you put a city one that you want to visit and after you put a commute two and you put the city two and then you put commute three city three and then the last commute and then back home. You just input all this as it is um, an Excel spreadsheet. So what do we do now once we're here? So I've just put the task name here. So this is uh, using MS Project. You start with putting a task name. Um, what We have what we call a milestone, which is a duration of zero day, which is a point in time. It doesn't have any duration. So for the start of the holiday, I'm just going to put zero days as a duration. And for the back home, I'm just going to put zero days. Now we have all these tasks uh, to perform. So do, are they sequential or can we do them at the same time? So <laughs> with today's technology, we can still only do one at a time. So I'm just going to assume they all be done uh, one after the other. Uh, but before I do this, I'm just gonna give a, a duration for it. So we say two days commute. So put two days for all the commute. Two days, two days, two days. I put that in the duration here. And for the city, visit i'm just going to put five days as we decided so that's it so now i have all my uh, all my dates input all my duration inputs okay so we have the tasks we have the duration now what do we want to do we want to link those tasks for the moment they are all starting at the same time so this is a gantt chart and you can see that they all the uh, the tasks start at the same time so we want to link them. So there's a very simple way to link tasks in, in MS Project is by just pressing and just dragging the mouse. We select them all. And then we go to this symbol here at the top under the schedule. There is this link symbol here. And you just click on it. And look at that. It just shows you all the tasks. So there is uh, an option here, view, where you want to see, say that you want to see the entire project on the right hand side. So what you have done now is you have linked all those tasks. Uh, now the two milestones are still hanging, so this is, uh, this is wrong, um, because they need to start after uh, the start of the holiday. So we just need to link those two. So still by pressing Control key, I can link those two. I go back under my task and I press link. And the back home, I press the last task this time to make sure that uh, it's all sequential. And I press the link. I go back under my view and I just put entire project and everything is there. So you could have looked on a piece of paper, but here's doing all the calculation uh, by itself. So here, obviously, what uh, the MS project, as a very simple example, he assumes that there is no work on the weekend. So something that takes five days in here, it would take seven days because he would skip the, the, the weekend. But there are some options in MS project where you can obviously uh, uh, skip this. But for a very quick introduction, this is it. So now you can allocate a resource name. You will need to just put a resources, myself. And once you press enter, then it's still there. So you just have to do myself again. And then you, you can allocate uh, different resource names. Uh, that's it for a quick introduction.